how uh, how does it feel to uh, hear your name called? Just a surprise, I say. Uh, just exciting at the same moment. Just don't know words to describe this. I presume uh, you didn't grow up a Leaf fan. What was your team uh, growing up? I didn't really have a team. I'm, I wasn't watching hockey very really much, so I just kind of not really a favorite team or stuff. Do you have any indication that Toronto might be interested in you at 21? Uh, I went in the co- at their combine uh, after the NHL combine, and that was all. And I talked to them a couple of times, and that's it. Frederick, did you? Sorry, did you have a visit yesterday with the Leafs? Uh, no, no, I didn't visit the Leafs yesterday. Can you describe yourself as a player? Uh, I said to way forward, better defensively, uh, good in my zone, uh, big center. I said to way forward. <laughs> what? Uh, what is your hometown? Uh, is it a? As someone said, is it a Montreal, Montreal town or Canadians uh, fans or what? It just uh, it's twenty minutes. It's my school. She's twenty minutes from Montreal, so uh, I wasn't really a, 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 a Canadian fan. I just don't really watch hockey. But when I grew up, I heard Montreal everywhere. So that's it. Is this about where you were expecting to be drafted? Uh, yes, I thought maybe uh, around twenty, fifteen, twenty. So yeah, I think that's what I was expecting. How was the wait? Was it long? Were you getting nervous? How did you feel? Uh, I was more nervous coming here uh, just before coming, uh, arriving, and when I got here, just the stress was a bit less. And just as the player was calling, and just getting stressed, stressed, and just now it feels good to be drafted. And that's good. Is there a team that doesn't have a history of taking French Canadian born players? What, what do you think of joining Toronto? Uh, I think uh, just try to do my best. I'm going to do my best and uh, try to make the team and just. Make Canadian proud and then make the Canadian people proud and try to make them uh, draft maybe more cute guys. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you learn about the Leafs through the through the combine and through the interviews and even up on the podium? What did they tell you? Uh, they talked about their philosophy. Like you know, when you talk to people, what kind of philosophy they they are adding to and what kind of people they're searching for. Did maybe. they ask you any unique questions that maybe other teams did? No, I think there was like general question. Yeah. Have you ever been to Toronto? Uh, yes, I've been. At, I've been to Toronto. I say maybe three years ago. Uh, like a tourist? Or yeah, a tourist. Or? Tourist like uh, Niagara Falls. Or, okay. And that, yeah. What did you think? Nice city, and I went there for uh, under 18 free camps. So it was just in such a nice place and nice town, hockey town. So. Was there a player that you maybe modeled your game afterward growing up? Jordan Stahl, two way forward, base center. Let's say Jordan Stahl. Have you ever had a chance to meet him? I uh, know, never. What, what are your plans for next year? Going to school, I heard. Is that true? Yeah, uh, I'll try to make the NHL uh, next year for sure. And uh, if I don't, I'll go back to Rimouski and can, can play junior and continue at school. There's a lot of reporters that practice every day and throw a lot of attention on the team. Are you comfortable in the spotlight? A lot of attention? Yeah, I think you have to deal with it. It's it's part of that team. And when you talk about big city, big hockey town, it's just the media is part of that. And uh, I, I think I'm going to be, I can deal with this. Yeah. Frederick, did the possibility of go to Harvard delay your playing in the queue for Ramuski by a year? Uh, I'll say it was, I'll, I'll say no, it was a choice to stay in Jet Triple A. Uh, I think I wasn't maybe ready, ready to go to Ramuski yet. So I just, I think it's, it helped me through my development. You're a big guy. When did you hit your growth spurt? Like, uh, like in terms of being 6'5", that just happened the last couple of years? Or? I think maybe four years ago, five years ago, so yes. Yeah. Are you still growing into your body in that regard? No, I think I'm pretty much the same height, so I'm going to stay like this, I think. Maybe a bit more, but still, I think I'm still like this. If you were thinking of Harvard, uh, you must be a pretty good student. What are some of your favorite studies? Uh, I like math, science, and psychology, so that's it. When you chose the hockey over football, did you ever imagine you could be drafted one day? Uh, not really. I was just, it was a feeling like I have to play hockey, I like it, and I uh, just, and, uh, just a feeling that like I'll take hockey, and uh, it was a good choice. What did you play in football? Uh, I was playing Cuban. I played uh, in high school and uh, publicly, like uh, AAA and stuff. What position? Cuban. Yeah. How long ago did you give that up? Uh, I, gra- I gave it up in uh, grade 
eight, ten around this, so a couple of years ago. Is there a football player you uh, you liked as a kid? I liked a lot Michael Vick, uh, the way he's playing. <laughs> so is the offensive side of your game still the one that you're trying to work on? You mentioned being strong defensively. Yeah, I try to work on this to put, like, be more offensively a bit and be good, be a same in both ways. The Leafs talk about their philosophy of, of, of tough players. Uh, can you can you be that kind of a player? Do you think down the road? Yeah, I think uh, you have to uh, to adapt, and uh, I think I can be that type of player and and be good at it. What did you What did you learn in your first year in the queue? Uh, how to adapt? I say uh, it was uh, a big change from midget AAA, uh, all the travel, all that stuff. I say you you learn how to adapt yourself and how your body react to all the situation. Take the learning experiences from that jump to try and learn to how to jump to uh, the pro level when you get to that point. Yeah, I think it's it's like experience that you keep with you and it's gonna help you through your life and uh, I'm gonna try to. Take what I learned and bring it to Toronto and uh, be be the best that I can be. What do your parents do? What are their names? Uh, my dad, Stefan Gauthier, is a roofer mm -hmm. uh, working in Montreal. My mom's a secretary. She worked for the, my dad's company. She's Safi Normandin. That's it. Yeah, and they were, pretty, they were here today? Yeah, they were yeah. here. I got my two sisters were here. One of my best friends was here, so yes. Big day. Yes. <laughs> Where are you, Frederick, in the family with the sisters? Are you the baby or are you the oldest? Uh, I'm in the middle. I got an older sister and a younger sister. Yeah. <laughs> what does Ramuski meant for your development? I think uh, it helped me a lot. Like it was, you have to go through the, that process. And uh, like you learn things. We had Phyllis Boucher uh, down in Ramuski that helped us. Uh, Ramuski did a great job. And uh, I think it just it helped me to be a better player and better person. And did it help uh, going through the draft, sharing this uh, experience with several teammates? Yeah, we are we are four guys here, five guys, and maybe all going to get drafted and just be there with your friend, your teammate. Just awesome feeling. You, you talked about a big draft for the Q. A lot of players in this draft are from there. Is it uh, you know heartening that you're able to? The league is uh, being noticed now and winning championships and that. Yeah, it's just like a 95, we always, that people were talking to be here, and it, it, it is, and we have, like we see that a lot of good players get drafted, and I think uh, just like, you feel good to be part of that kind of group of person, and just trying to be better and better.